Hello, North Texas. We're monitoring the dry line position to the west of us, and to the west of that, we have a high fire danger, as we'll see in a bit. We have two disturbances. One of these will bring us some higher rain chances, as you'll see in my 10-day forecast. We're back to some seasonable levels. We're going to say goodbye to those above normal temperatures. So here's the position of the dry line. Uh, this is four sections of at least western Texas into the big country, and that's where we have that elevated fire danger because they're in a the dry air mass. Into Wise, as well as Eastland counties, we do have outdoor, outdoor burn bans in effect. So know your wildfire safety tips, not burning those items outdoors, tossing lit cigarettes on the ground, uh, parking over tall grass, and dragging those tow chains on the ground. We've seen this movement before. Now we have numerous storm systems positioned into the western United States, but with that southern jet stream a little bit active, those disturbances will move our way via the west to the east. Therefore, disturbance number one arriving on Monday evening, I have the rain chances at 20%, a little bit of a break into Tuesday. Now, Wednesday evening, this will be the stronger disturbance, increasing rain chances for Thursday up to around 40%, and then finally, that disturbance will move out of the area by Friday morning. So here's disturbance number one. Notice that most of the precipitation with this will be to the east of Interstate 35 E, that's to the east of Dallas, maybe 4,400s in the Mineola, 400s in toward Van Zandt and also Henderson County. Here is that stronger disturbance, and notice uh, picking up over an inch of rainfall. Some folks picking up two inches, and we do need the rainfall across North Texas. So tonight, we wake up on your Sunday morning, 59 degrees. Some surrounding areas could see the mid-50s, but we'll see that afternoon high above the normal high of 64 degrees at 82 under a mostly sunny sky. So let's spell it out and the 5 to 10 day forecast. Once again, for your Sunday with some sunshine, we're 82, 81 into Monday. There's that first disturbance with those rain chances on Monday night at around 20%. There's that break into Tuesday. Election day looks pretty nice, so 78 degrees. And then here comes that stronger disturbance, of 30 to 40, back to 30% rain chances. Notice those temperatures are sliding into the lower 70s onto Thursday. Then finally, a front will move across the area. There you go, seasonable temperatures by Saturday into Sunday. Highs into the mid-60s, and then with that wind turned around to the south, Highs back into the lower 70s. Of course, that's a check of your forecast, everyone. Make it a great Sunday ahead.